I would like to hear your opinion on some of the problems in science. So we discussed with our previous guests some topics, for example, why do we have postdoc crisis, people leaving academia, going to um, industry, or the reproducibility in some some experiments, the, 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 the burdens when you write grants and publish even. Could you maybe pick one aspect that you think is the most problematic? Of course, this has to do a lot with your research field, but maybe describe it and perhaps suggest some solution to this problem. Each of these topics would be worth a full evening, I would say. Uh, <laughs> that's the, they are all important. I uh, maybe I keep this one short and then say a little bit more about another one. I I'm not sure I would speak of a postdoc crisis. Um, at least in the way the the German academic system uh, evolved over the last twenty years. Um, we clearly, starting from the, the type of school degree that uh, now more and more uh, school students do, uh, we broadened the base for who is entering university and who is going to do a PhD massively. Mm -hmm. And I think it was always clear we're not broadening this because we think we need so many more people in academia alone. But this is today, outside academia, there's a lot of jobs that require good academic education and maybe also the experience that you uh, gain during a PhD when you learn to work independently, to learn to deal with problems and frustration and overcome it. These skills that you learn there, they're also interesting in other jobs and important for them. So I think the broadening of that base was never intended to all of a sudden have so and so many more uh, um, professors in, in, in universities and, and postdocs and PhDs staying in that academic system. I think the idea was always that a significant amount of those people's, people will, will move on and do something outside academia. Um, and there is a lot of interesting research that's happening outside academia, right? Just think of all these companies who've created the vaccines in the last few years for us. So I think one should not see that as a failure if someone moves on outside of the system that's what we should expect mm -hmm. and we should expect it i think for actually probably more people than actually stay the problem i see only if that happens too late so you should not be in the system for five six seven eight years as a postdoc and only then realize maybe mm -hmm. i don't have a perspective mm -hmm. that's what we are responsible for as a university as research institutes as pis to make transparent that not everybody who starts with a PhD will end up in academia. And we should identify the alternatives and discuss with people transparently and openly what there are alternatives in which way we can help with this and then allow them to come early enough to a decision so that it's not so painful and doesn't feel like a failure. I didn't think it has to feel like a failure at all mm -hmm. if, if, if done properly. So in that sense, yes, postdoc crisis, but mostly for, for the case that uh, one uh, is repeatedly fed with hope that maybe it works out in the end and, in, and then it doesn't. That's, that's a difficult situation. I, I agree with this. Neuroscience and beyond. No more. Get inspired.